Oh, look at that stinger. This is when I catch these funky bugs. Just to share them with my kids. <laughs> oh, he's shaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey, it is a blistering something. It's hot outside. I've been out working in my food plots, getting all sweaty. But while I was out there, I ended up running across one of these velvet ants. Some people call them the hissing ants. I've seen them yellow and black. I've seen them orange and black. I've seen them red and black. Um, this one is a great big one so some of you may have seen them in the desert some of them uh, may have seen them in the south I don't know if they go very far north but they are actually not an ant so again velvet ant or hissing ant but they are in the wasp family they are a wingless wasp but if you hold them down they'll actually start screaming or hissing at you and be careful, don't do it with your fingers. They, uh, those stingers are about that long, about as long as their uh, entire abdomen. And they're very hard to squish. They don't squish like a typical ant. They are hard shelled. Oh, look at that stinger. Ooh. Look at that. See that? You think that would hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Test it out. <laughs> you first. Mm -mm. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it'd be strong enough to be able to nab you, but dad gum. Uh, when they get you. It hurts, not that I know. But if any of you have any pictures of any of these uh, velvet ants, I haven't, I've seen the red and black ones semi-recently, but if you have any of the yellow and black ones, send me a picture, I'd like to see it. Kind of a cool thing to see. All right, some of my favorite things to do is when I catch these funky bugs, is to share them with my kids. <laughs> The kids are traumatized over this. Uh, miles, more cicadas. Cambry, just about everything I bring in. Miles says he's got PTSD for that, so. <laughs> I guess uh, when he goes to the therapist when he's older, it'll be my fault. They're, the kids are downstairs arguing about who's gonna come up. <laughs> miles is petrified. Cambry has her electric fly swatter. <laughs> It's a wingless wasp, but it's a velvet ant, and they call them hissing ants sometimes because they'll scream at you. Mm -hmm. But they have big stingers that come out the back, and they're almost impossible to squish. Wait, can I try to squish it? Just set that on there. So you can... Don't break them in half. I heard it scream. Did you guys hear him screaming? That was cool. Get him, Wyatt. Come here. <laughs> oh, the joys of parenthood sometimes. Man. <laughs> been a minute since I've done this uh, with everything going on anyway I want to give a special shout out to all of you that gave um, gave us some encouragement through all of this uh, and, and you guys know what we're talking about we don't like hashing over it but the simple fact of the matter is some of you even reached out and sent messages uh, those 
those words actually really hit home and, and meant a lot and let us know that there's people out there that actually do care about us. Um, I had a teaching moment with my kids one night and uh, one of you had, had messaged that you'd actually felt so inspired to uh, say a little prayer about Ben and I before you even knew what was going on. So we brought that up in our family lesson. Anyway, um, again, shout out to all of you. You guys mean the world to us. And uh, even if you don't know it, you guys are you're helping our lives. So on top of that, just so you know, it's almost hunting season, something like that. I went up and sprayed some fields that didn't come in for food plots and the weeds decided to come in. So I went up, sprayed. I'm headed up today to disc that all under and then I'll be heading back up you know, in a, probably five days or so and spray again and, and reseed. So Ben's not with me today. He's at the office. Uh, with our phenomenal new office staff. Rachel's down training. Chance actually just got a break away from the office and he's back uh, in the Berg. And we even have Emily that flew out. And kudos to Emily, she's my niece. She, uh, she stepped up big time. She knew we were in trouble and she dropped everything that she was doing to come help us out. So again, thanks guys. Appreciate everything you guys say and, and do to help us out. And uh, you guys take care. All right, so here's my two cents. Ryan talked about this and he asked me to put some thoughts on camera. So I will real quick. We had change of staff in our office. And here's the thing. I know anybody can be replaced. I could be replaced, anybody can be replaced. Luckily, it was a good time of year. There were a lot of people um, in the job search market and we were able to uh, restaff really quickly. And I think we did a really good job. So only time will tell, but for now, we're feeling pretty good about where we're at. The nice thing was uh, we were relying on Chance, we were relying on Rachel and everybody stepped up and they took over and what i thought was going to be a very daunting task actually was was pretty fun we had a good time we got to hang out and uh get in the system and and schedule and fix things and talk to customers and i've been on the phones with customers which is different for me because i don't spend a lot of time doing that but it's been nice so again to echo what Ryan said, there's been some support that we've really appreciated. So I've been sharing any messages sent to me and to the channel with Ryan, and I know that uh, that's made a difference and given him some strength. So we just wanted to say thank you. Thank you guys for the support and uh, being patient with us. We haven't put out as many videos as we normally do, but we've been busy. So that's the reason why. We're back at full strength now. We're moving forward. We're finally gonna get videos cranking out and doing things. We've got a, uh, a new sponsor coming up. We'll be filming that video this week. And uh, we've got some other stuff in the works. It's pretty cool. Hopefully benefit to all of you down the road. Uh, instead of us just saying, hey, this is what we do for pest control. Maybe we'll help you guys out. So that's in the works. We're gonna work on that. But uh, again, thank you guys. We appreciate the comments. We appreciate the uh, support. So now that we've talked a little bit about bugs and a little bit about the office, uh, I'll let you know what I've been up to. So here's a video of uh, where I went after Ryan left to work on his property. My kids have been bugging me. I've got two younger girls that have been bugging me and bugging me for years uh, to get another pet now they have lots of pets they have chickens they have tons of cats uh, but you know what they want they want a dog my daughter put together a powerpoint presentation <laughs> about how she would take care of a dog and her and her sister and i wouldn't have to do anything 
and they've been trying and they've been just wearing me out. And then finally my wife said, this is a good idea. And you know when that happens? It's over. So this is us packing up the car to go get a dog. We've been in the car, huh? Yeah. So where are we at? Bucky. We're where? Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why are we at Bucky's? Where are we going? Um, we're getting a puppy. We're getting a what? A puppy. We have to go get a puppy? Yeah. Who talked your dad into getting a puppy? You even did a PowerPoint slide presentation. <laughs> <laughs> we need to I pull said, that up to remember all this stuff. Stop. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I said promised. no to a puppy, but I guess we're here. We drove three hours, and we have to drive three hours back? With a puppy. <laughs> With a puppy, but we stopped at Bucky's. What do we want at Bucky's? Uh, beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. I want beaver nuggets. Mom's going to get a shirt. Mom's going to get a shirt, okay. some pecans. We're going to go into Bucky's, and then we're going to go get a puppy, apparently. We've got, our, we've got our spoils from war. <laughs> it wasn't that much. It wasn't that bad. We got lots of beaver nuggets and <laughs> some candied nuts and all sorts of stuff. Here you go. Okay, off to see about a puppy. Yes. I'm so disappointed. We're here. Yeah. We're supposed to meet the people here for the dog. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yes, very excited. <laughs> there they are, they're pulling in. <laughs> Here they come. Can we go out? In a Wait minute. Wait they party. <laughs> what? Uh oh. I think you can go over there. <laughs> go over there. <laughs> it's okay, you can walk around. Go over there. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's shaking. <laughs> Wait, hold on, don't don't run away. Can I hold him? Can I hold him? What a kitty. Oh my goodness. Oh, is he chewing on you? Oh, is he cute or what? Yeah, he's so Are you excited? Oh. He's shaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at his little face. What do you think, buddy? Oh. He's like, I like this. He's making his little tail wagging. Good thing I don't play with any of them like it. It's like four dollars. Five dollars and five dollars. <laughs> All right, we're on the road again. What do you guys think of this puppy? It's so small. It's playing with the banana. They insisted on sitting in the back together so they could be near the puppy. <laughs> eh, my life is going to change after this. What are we naming it? Coco. 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 Okay. Well, that's the new puppy. Hopefully we make it home. Well, it's a beautiful day. I am just finishing up a half day at the office this morning because I've got to go to see the doctor. Long story short, I'm going to try to do the short, but uh, earlier this year I had, I got poison ivy real bad and I needed to uh, get some help with that, some medication. And so I went to, my wife works for a school, so I went to the clinic that they have for the teachers and their family. And they didn't like my blood pressure reading. I told them it was because they made me go up three flights of stairs, but they didn't really listen. So my doctor retired like 15 years ago. I haven't really been to a doctor. Didn't do my yearly checkups or anything. So my wife pushed me to set an appointment to get my blood pressure checked. 
and to start seeing a primary care physician. So I got one, I got it set up, went and visited, did my first thing. They want to do like full labs, full everything, full check on everything. Earlier this year, I did go to a dermatologist and checked all of my Frankenstein moles and make sure I don't have cancer, and I don't. So that's good. That was step one. Step two is getting my heart checked out and everything else. So I went to the doctor. They want blood work, which I did last week. They want uh, blood pressure monitor monitoring, which I have been doing. They put me on a low dose of some sort of medicine and that's helped so that's good but they also wanted me to do a cancer screen or colonoscopy so guess where I'm headed I'm headed to do that today I'm not excited it's been two days of no eating except for liquids and anyway too much information I know so that's where I'm headed and that's the whole story about the doctor I have learned something and if you ignore everything else I said this is important while I've been feeling fine, uh, it's not good to go without checkups. And I blamed my doctor retiring and only liking him. That wasn't a good enough excuse. You, you guys have got to take care of your health. You got to think about your family and the rest of the people around you. So I decided to do that this year and do a few things to make myself healthier. And this is one of them, which I'm not looking forward to. But if you haven't seen a doctor this year, go ahead and make yourself an appointment. It'll take three months probably. But get seen, get healthy, get checked out, and uh, take a step in the right direction on your health. That's what I decided to do this year, and I think Ryan's been pretty consistent. So that way we can stick around and make more stupid videos for everybody. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm about to pull up, pick up my wife, and we'll go get this done. All right, everybody, it's morning. You guys are just taking off. So day after the procedure, I'm alive, I'm all right. Good news is they didn't find anything. They said I'm good for 10 more years. So get yourself checked out. It's really not that bad. I mean, prep sucked, but the rest wasn't bad. I, she said, you're gonna go to sleep now. And I thought, that's nice. And then all of a sudden I'm awake. They're trying to wake me up. So it was quick. It was easy, I guess. So I'm healthy enough to continue on. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. So I'm going to see if I can get this bad boy to yell out at me. He'll be like, hey, Ryan. What's up, buddy? This one's wife must have taken his voice box out. He's not allowed to talk anymore. He's not very loud. And if any of you guys have ever seen Three Amigos, how do you know it's a male plane? Because of its little balls. How do you know it's a velvet male velvet ant? Because of its little balls. So. Ah, crap. Loud motorcycle. Uh -oh. Guess what? what? It didn't. Did you say? It wasn't started. Oh, okay, I have to right. do all that over again. Okay, that's okay. Mm, all of it over again. All right.